Welcome back, everybody. In this kata, we're going to talk about how to influence our search results based on a brand. The use case is that Chorus Electronics has reached an agreement with Epson to sell uh, their projectors, and every pro Epson branded projector that we sell will get an ex extra revenue. So, how do we influence the search results? In this kata, we're going to learn about how to do this. So to start off, first off, we have to understand what it means to be selling a keyword versus a search term. So a keyword is a specific search query. So in this example here, I've searched for projector. And as you can see, we're getting back projectors. But the very first Epson branded product is a projector lamp. Um, so we want to talk, we want to sell the keyword projector, but that means that we also don't want to influence other queries like say projector screen or projector lamp um, in the index. So, so let's go ahead and get started. And the way we'll do this is first we put our web shop on the left um, and uh, Smooey on the right. So. As we learned in the previous kata, right, how to deal with the accessories problem, when we search for projectors, we're getting back some projectors, but we're getting back a lot of accessories or repair parts. And that's probably not what someone's looking for. So we're going to go ahead and put in our keyword, and we're going to wrap it in double quotes. And what this tells the quirky library is that this rule should only apply to the query projector not projector screen or projector lamp. And we'll go ahead, as we learned in our previous, we're going to go ahead and we learned about our product type. And so we're going to just boost. Now, uh, we'll go ahead and save that, push that out. And while we wait, notice that in terms of our product types, we actually have three different types of projectors. All of those are going to get a little bit of boosting because all three of those types match the word projector. So go ahead and let's rerun our query for projector and see how we're doing. And there we go. Now, as you can see, there's our Epson projector, but it's the fourth item in the list. So what can we do? Well, the first thing we might be able to do is another, just a little bit of boosting. Let's go ahead and, you know, give a little boost to, and we'll use our brand field that has Epson in it. Let's go ahead and do that and push that configuration out. And there we can see our Epson projector is the first one. But what if we only wanted to show an Epson projector and not the competing solutions. Well, in that case, why don't we look at a filter rule? We'll go ahead and temporarily disable the brand rule. We've added our filter rule and we'll sort on our brand field, Epson, and go ahead and push this out. And now let's do a search and let's see what comes back. Hey, look at that. You can see there's our Epson projector first plus other Epson branded products. Now this favors the brand Epson heavily, right? We're only showing their products. We're only for, for, for projector. But we do want to balance that against our end users, our customers, who looking for a projector would be like, well, yeah, I see you have one Epson product, but these other products aren't really the projectors I wanted. Maybe we need a filter instead on that. But honestly, they probably want to see your other projectors as well. So, you know, we need to take that into account. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the filter and go ahead and turn back on our up boosting because I think that that gave the best uh, balance to our search experience. And there we go. There's our products. Um, now, what about the other use case of selling the search term, right? Everything that we did only works if you're looking uh, for just a projector. But what if what if we want to boost all Epson products, right? So here's a search. You can see we have an HP projector came first and Epson second. So what could we do? 
Well, there's two ways we could tackle it. One is we could add a new query, right, projector. Or we could just say, hey, let me go ahead and take this one, remove the double quotes around it. Go ahead and save that. Let's push it out. And now we'll search for projector screen. And there you go. We can see Epson boosting over the HP brand. Same for projector lamp. Our Epson projector lamps, Epson branded products over the other ones. And then just a straight up query for projector. We'll see all the various uh, projector products, but we'll see that within every grouping of projector types, Epson showing up first, then uh, here's some lamps, some screens, again, the Epson products, and then showing other branded products. So, all right, thank you very much.